Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. Yeah, for sure. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. I'm pretty sure Portal did that already, but you know what? Zoom. My more ingenious Ooh. concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. Now nah, hmm. the bucket says nah. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. Is this really going to go on forever? Okay, Stanley. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, <laughs> but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. From one perspective, is this the, bottom? the infinite is merely philosophical oh, gosh, in nature. It's let's more start. of a... Oh, oh! Okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. You found me out, Stanley. Every I'm pause button is room on so number two. Clever. Look, I think the issue here is just that you're oh. unusually fascinated by falling. What normal person actually wants to fall infinitely? I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. What are you, my parents? <sighs> Look, uh, things got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. Why don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the hole mostly infinite? All if right. it works for you, yeah, sure. then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. You got I'll it. just be up here when you're ready. Great. Now, Whoa. I'm very excited to show you even more oh, for heaven. You see, I was right. The problem is you. No, it's not. The problem is that you like holes too much. Not normal. A normal person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... Ow. Oh. Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? I couldn't help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, admittedly, I didn't make an infinite hole, but I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. Honestly, had my enough? favorite part is I'm just teleporting. Thrilled. Gosh, how could I have guessed you're back in the hole? If this starts to become a thing where... Wow, that was wow. incredibly short. Okay. Yes. I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. I it's a paradox. I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep, even by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Here, yeah, let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top, and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Okay. Well, there it is. <gasps> Woo! Is oh. this still appealing to you? I can't I get out. I'm obsessed with holes, but Help. at this depth, I just Help. can't see this scratching the itch. Help. Oh, who am I to judge? Help. You just do whatever it is you're here to do, and hit Help. the teleport button when you're ready to move on. Okay. Boop. Hmm. Oh, no. Is the, um... Teleport button not working. Um, you sure? Uh, yeah, it's not well, working. I mean, I really don't have an explanation. Still nothing. Nope. Well, I suppose. Uh, oh, help! I suppose help. there is one thing I can do to fix this. Help! I'm out. What? Goodbye, Stanley. What? You couldn't bear to be away from the no. hole, and now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. It's a win for everyone. You get to be with the hole. I get to do literally anything else. Narrator. Don't leave Take me. Take care, Stanley. Narrator. I hope you. And My the name's Jim.
have a wonderful rest of it together. What? I still got you for two more hours, narrator. Okay. Um, you know what? Uh, maybe there's a clue around here. Management, uh, what? Meeting, oh jeez, what is this? What's happening? Narrator, is that you? Are you hungry? I got a bucket. Oh. Okay. All right. It's very cool, very cool, very, very exquisite for... <gasps> no. Okay. What is happening? I'm in a hole, and it's getting deeper. I am just keep on digging myself a hole. You know what? I think it's because this bucket. It's not making me feel reassured at all. Actually making me feel kind of trapped. Narrator. Narrator, there's music going on. Narrator, don't do this to me. Oh, gosh. Help. Help. No. To change your perspective? No! Oh, no. I was the narrator the whole time. My name is not Jim. It was Stanley the narrator. This is my second game, and I have no idea what I'm doing. I forgot to leave the stove on! My refrigerator isn't running! Ah! But that's okay. I'm going down. This is my elevator, and I'm happy. I'm so happy. My name is Jim, also known as Stanley. And that scares me. What if my name isn't Stanley or Jim? What if I'm the narrator? Oh no! I've said that two times already! But that's okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh no, I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea. But who really knows what we're, anyone is doing? You know, it's about it's about being here together. I have a lot to say. I have no time to say it though. I'm in the hole because I am the hole. I'll never be whole. Maybe my name is Jim. Maybe I'm Jim, the robot. My name is Jim, and I am happy. I'm very, very happy to be here with you. Do you know why? Viewer, this is about me and you now. This is me and you. You know what? You want to see a handstand? Too bad. You see a headstand. <laughs> no, I'm allergic to dogs. I'm allergic to dogs. I'm allergic to dogs. Narrator, is that you? Oh, good, you're awake. What? It seems you had sort of dozed off there. Huh? What happened? Away into dreamland. No. But we can't have that, Stanley. Oh. Because this hole is just so what darn fascinating yeah, that yeah, I want you yeah. to be wide awake for every second uh -huh. of it. You don't want to miss a single moment. So how oh, wow. if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up to keep you really truly focused on the hole? Okay. From the looks Sounds of good. Things, Sounds good. You and I will have many, many years here in this hole. Okay. And I'm looking forward to all of them. The dogs Stella scared Stanley. me, narrator. I'll be back. What? Where are you going? Narrator? No, 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 no. Don't do this again to me. I, I don't want to be a robot. No, 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 no. Am I going back down? Come on, I have, I have nothing else more to say. Oh, I didn't like that. I didn't like that. Um, okay. Okay, you know what? Uh, that's new. Okay, how do I get up there? Wow, that was very, very intense. Alright, that's, that's fun. This is fun. This is so fun. I'm not, I'm not going, I'm, fine, it ended. Yeah, sure, sure. I'm not, I'm not ever going back in there. That's new. That is new. I'm going, I'm going that way. Wow, is my name even Jim? What is I even saying back there? Oh gosh. What is this? This is nothing. Epilogue. An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? It would. Yes, yes, it would go at the end of the, um, uh, well, we'll figure that out later. All right. Okay, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm taking my bucket. I'm I'm never going back to you hole. Wow, that was a whole experience, huh? Hey narrator, thanks for the DLC. I think I'm uh I'm gonna leave though. Okay? I'm gonna take this bucket and I'm gonna make it like a tray and leaf. 
Don't worry about me. I don't think you ever have to All worry right. about me again. Have you seen everything you wanted to? Yep. Ready to move on now? Uh-huh. I need this. This is mine. This is mine. Can I... Ooh. Stanley. Nice tattoo. No screenshots, please. All right. So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, uh, I know it's not exactly fine. clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together, and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. <laughs> okay. Okay. Are you ready? Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Oh? Not the whole. I... Um... I, um... Well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's... Sure. Sort of... Okay, never mind. Yeah, sure. Hold on. Let me do a different arrangement. Okay, yes. Yes, this is much better. I feel good about it. Here we go. Version two. Oh. <sighs> Are you trying? I kidding, Stanley? You're trying. This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable uh. and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Peacefully, of course. With respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? Mm, I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. Okay. I love this a lot, actually. What's going to happen? Can I just watch the, the cutscene? I'm going to watch the whole entire cutscene. This is... I love this. I love the color red. Oh no. Is this gonna be infinite? Where's the giant hole? I want to jump in the hole again. Is this... Oh, this is really cool though. Oh, there's an ending right there, right? Oh, it's a door. What's behind the door? Maybe it's the fern. I want to go through the door. Let me in. Let me in. I'm going in the door. Oh, it's just gonna be like a loop? That's pretty cool. I like that. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Is anything gonna change? Stanley worked for a company oh. in a big building Balloons. where he was employee number 427. 